Don't do this at home. Hey guys, today we are reviewing the PDR Small Batch Reserve Habano. These also come in a Maduro version. Today we're going after the Habano. Let's check these things out. First thing is a Brazilian Habano wrapper. Bit of a reddish tone to it, almost a risotto really. A Dominican Criollo 98 binder. Fillers from the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. This is a 5x52 Robusto. Price point in the $2 to $5 range. The appearance is pretty good. Small flaws in the wrapper, um, but it is pretty good overall. Uh, very nice laid, what appears to be a triple cap at the top. And a very simple and classic cigar band. I really like that striking red. Grass and hay off of the wrapper for the aroma. Let's get a cut. Pretty tight draw, <clears throat> and the flavor there is just straight raisins and spice. It tastes like a holiday beverage. <clears throat> All right, let's get lit. All right, guys, starting out pretty strong here. First thing that you notice. <clears throat> is a very significant amount of that, uh, that sort of hay flavor. It's almost like a, like a green hay flavor. Very sweet and cream, sorry, not very sweet, slightly sweet, but very creamy as well. So it's sort of a mouthfeel and flavor at the same time. Um, balanced out with a nice little bit of spice on the finish, particularly on the retro hail. And um, smoke wise, that's probably a medium body right now, so. Again, the draw is just a little on the tight side, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if that opens up later on. I'll check it in a little bit. I think I'm only about 10 minutes in. This thing's burning pretty quick. Um, speaking of which, the burn is actually it's decent. It was a little off at first, but it seems to be correcting itself now. Pretty even, so <clears throat> no complaints there. As far as the flavor goes, mellowed out a little bit, smoothed out a little bit, lots of hay, lots of creaminess, and still just a small twinge of uh, spice on the retro hill, which is fantastic. Very easy to smoke cigar. The draw's loosened up a little bit, so it's just barely on the tight side, but other than that, great. Plenty of smoke output, very enjoyable so far. About 30 minutes in, smoke output has actually increased. Quite a lot of smoke coming out of this little thing. Uh, draw is just about perfect at this point. The burn, as good as you could really hope for in uh, this inexpensive of a stick. Flavor is really good. There's this lingering pepper flavor on the lips and tongue that just doesn't seem to go away. Um, the flavor-wise is still a little on the creamy side, but less so here in the second third. Um, also, <coughs> excuse me, um, right after my last check-in, I noticed a decent, like, toasted almond flavor that was uh, really prominent on the draw. Um, still a touch spicy on the retro hill, still kind of creamy and cedary, um, but with a good bit of depth to it. I'm going to check in one more time, and then we'll put it down. All right, guys, there's the end of that one. <clears throat> Let's go over it again, shall we? Right at the start, decently complex. We had um, some, some cream, nice cedar flavor. Um, there was some spice on that retro hail. Nice uh, grass hay flavor in there as well. Second, third, really sort of smoothed out, but retained a lot of those really good flavors. Still creamy, um, uh, toasted nut flavor that was in there as well. Um, still had that kind of grass hay flavor, but still really, um, really deep flavors in there. Really, um, really good. 
honestly. Um, <clears throat> final third showed just a touch of earth, but retained a lot of those same flavors. Slightly less creamy, still lots of nut and hay flavor in there as well. Um, burn wise, uh, slightly awry at a couple of points, but always evened itself out and never had to touch it up, so that was nice. Um, it, it did go out towards uh, almost really the, the very end of it. Could have been my fault. I let it sit there for a couple seconds, so I don't know if you want to count that as a mark against it or not. Um, draw was a little tight at first, loosened up, was almost perfect the rest of the way through the stick. And uh, the appearance had a couple of small flaws in the wrapper, but other than that, it's fine. It didn't affect the, uh, the smokeability of it at all. So, uh, nothing noticed there. Overall, a really great stick, especially when you consider the price point. These things are really low priced just in general, and then you find them on sale and they're just like $2 a stick. So, uh, phenomenal value there. And one of my favorite cigars is just smoke anytime. Um, there's a relatively low amount of strength in that, in that stick. I will mention that there's a little bit, um, so keep that in mind, but not a whole lot of strength to that cigar. And a really just great all around stick. You know, it's something that you can smoke pretty much any time of the day and not be sad that you did. So, <clears throat> really happy with these. I smoke a lot of them. Uh, I just finally now got around to, oh, to reviewing it. Um, and yeah, PDR is one of those brands that, that pumps out a lot of really good sticks and keeps them really budget friendly. So, very happy with these. Go check them out. Uh, the link in the description below will take you to Cigar Page, where I think they're actually on sale this week. Um, they're on sale there frequently, um, but even when they're not, I think they're usually right around the $20 range for a five pack of them if you don't want to commit to a whole box. So excellent, excellent cigar for the price point. Something you can put between your teeth while you're golfing, while you're fishing, while you're mowing your lawn. I personally do not mow my lawn without a cigar between my teeth and this is frequently one that I reach for when I do that. So there you go guys. The, uh, the PDR <laughs> Small Batch Reserve Habano. Go check those out and as always, happy smoking.